You see, I have made some enemies over the past few years. I guess I'll read this. I am an intelligence officer. The secret agent, if you, a secret agent if you prefer. My current duties and whereabouts are classified, naturally. The adventure you are about to experience is based on a series of incidents which took place back in August 1991. A few days before these pictures were filmed in Moscow. As you know, the Pusch was defeated. I like to imagine that it was due to some major to me, and yet the, my Uncle Vanya points out, if I am a hero, it is only because I managed not to get myself killed. I have always fought, felt Vanya has a tendency to exaggerate. Believe me, I did not choose to become a KGB officer. That privilege was accorded me just before the events described in this adventure. Until then, I had been a Soviet soldier. Not an ordinary soldier, I grant you. Specians are elite troops trained for sabotage and intelligence operations deep behind enemy lines. I had made a number of parachute drops inside unfriendly uh, countries. What uh, you have to understand is that the Spechstas it was a... This is too fast! And the GRU was directly under KGB control. It's going a little bit too fast. So I received an invitation to join Department P of the KGP, second director in Moscow. It was hardly a position to refuse. Okay. My father would have been horrified. As a GRU officer, he was, of course, detested everything about the KGB. He and my mother are both dead, by the way. Blown up in a booby-trapped car when I was a, still a boy. I had never heard of this department P. Uncle Vanya advised me to do my duty, but watch my back. Well, naturally, he would say that. He too is an ex-GRU officer. We are living in perilous times, Max, he said, and sometimes we are forced to do things we don't necessarily approve of. Vanya has always had a taste for the melodramatic. Indeed. You love all these retro games? I could, you know, same for me. I never... Maxim Mikhailovich. I am surprised at you, my son. They have finally put you in KGB uniform. And the captain, no less. But then, rooting out corruption in the very heart of the KGB should prove to be a worthy assignment for my idealistic son. Beware, Max, your naive enthusiasm. You are running with a pack of wolves who will do anything to keep what they have stolen from the people of Russia. When you get into trouble, and believe me, you will get into trouble, think of me. Imagine what I, with my legendary intuition would have done to solve the problem. Legendary. You see me now, Max, as I live on in your memory before your mother and I were blown to pieces in that booby-trapped car. So much for my intuition, huh? One last thing. Buried somewhere beneath all the corruption is an ideal that many millions of honest people believed in. They may be fools, but they deserve the truth. Find it for them, Max. You can thank Charlie for this game. Because he, uh, he, uh, he, he picked it. There's a tie. And Charlie broke it. I mean, he didn't, he didn't even know how awesome the soundtrack was.
Conspiracy Chapter 1, Moscow. Your first day at Department P, Moscow KGB. Uh, whoever arranged uh, your transfer either has a strange sense of humor or hates your guts. Why is that? Your colleague, Captain Bel Belov, is at his desk typing a report. You await orders from your superior, Major Vavlov. Vavlov? Vavlov? Oh man, I have stuff in my way. I'm seeing chat. Let's fix that. Alright, here we are. We're here. Let's inspect the books. Soviet const const Constitution and why our Constitution is the best. Alright. Alright, let's try and find. If you ever need help, my son, just think of me. Um, okay. I want to fight the filing cabinet. <laughs> they, they dared me. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Let's try and fight this guy. Such a course of action, while desirable, perhaps, would be unadvisable. Let's fight this. Let's fight this poster. Fight that. Come on, jerk. Hey, look, you're throwing your freaking... You're throwing your freaking cigarettes on the floor. Jeez. What a jerk. Man, you're such a jerk. All right. Let's look at the filing cabinet. KGB issue. All right, can I open it? Can I use it? Use filing cabinet. Okay, I guess I can't use it right now. He's lost all hope. I mean, he's just sitting there. I think he might be dead. I think he might actually be dead. Like, sure, he's there, but let's look at our phone. All right, we should probably write, we should probably get our trusty notebook out. Where's my trusty notebook? Here it is. Trusty notebook. All right, and start making notes. 31, 4, 4, 8, 7, extension, 9. This is our phone number. Let's look at, let's look at our other dude's phone number. What's his? Nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing special extension 10. Um, let's call let's call our phone with his phone. Your phone rings, nobody answers. <laughs> oh man. This game is great already. Testing the keyboard, you notice that the uppercase T is weak. Oh no. What if you need to type what if you need to type things with the word T in it? Cramped. Case files. I am guessing we should call our uh, our our boss. Right? Like, that makes the most sense. You hear the engaged tone. Okay, let's talk to this guy. You say... Reporting on a mission successfully concluded, comrade? Of no concern to you, comrade. <laughs> P. 
pity Vavlov is keeping me waiting so long. Do you question your superior's correct decisions, comrade? Of course not, just enthusiastic eagerness. Have confidence in the party's forward-looking decisions. Comrade Major Vavlov is an exemplary officer and a new thinking toiler. What does that mean? I have no reason to doubt the party's farsightedness in assigning Comrade Lieutenant Shevkova to her position. Okay, what does that mean? I am the modest son of honest parents, both shock workers of Soviet toil. Do I need to write that down? Comrade Colonel Galushkin is an inspirational leader and did his internationalist duty aiding our Afghan comrades. Talk about. I don't really want to. The weather. The ministry confidently predicts the current projections are in line with the planned wheat quota upswing. Well, that's good. Glory to our market-oriented comrades in the agricultural complex. Soviet planning and new thinking are pathways to fully stunning progress. We'll, 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 we'll play it nice with this guy. Um, what's this button do? Oh, that's the go away. Let's see, can we go out the door? Hey! How's it going, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Wait, how do we save? We click this button, right? Save game. We only have four saves slots. That's not that's not fantastic. Let's fight this guy. Hi! How's it going? Yes, Comrade Captain. Fight. Huh. Oh, I can't even do I can't even do it. I'm not liberty to say, Comrade Captain. The guard is 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 changed every eight hours, Comrade Captain. My orders are to stand guard here, Comrade Captain. I'm not at liberty to say, Comrade Captain. Leolin. Le Leal? Leolin? Captain Comrade. Instruct him to... Colonel Comrade. Comrade Colonel. Comrade Captain Rukov wishes to see you. Not now. I'm conducting a meeting. Tell him to see Major Volov. Guard repeats his message. Okay, fine. Whatever, dude. Your report to Comrade Major Volov's office. Where is his office? Where is his office? Is this his office? Remember, comrade, orders are to be obeyed punctually. Foot dragging must be stamped on. I don't know. I didn't know where your office was. I'm sorry, dude. Jeez. What a jerk. Your first mission will for Department P will be well within your grasp, Rukov. Rukov. Go at once to the office of... Okay, let's write this down. I don't know if I need to know it, but we're gonna write it down anyway. P O Y T R D E N I. So the last game we played, which was that, or not the last game we played, but the last game we played that required notes, we had to basically write everything down. So uh, I worry that we have to do that for this game until I'm, until I know why we don't. I'm gonna just keep doing it. The heck. Red, October, 
17. Ah! Alright, I've got that written down. Galatian, whose body was fished out of the river this morning, was a so-called private detective. The militia were forced to call us in because he was, he was, until a few years ago, a KGB officer. Our duty is simply to ensure his death was no state security implications. Check his office for anything of interest to us. Alright. Give me a report by 6 p.m. Waste no time in this routine task, comrade. I want no complaints. Six? That's like two hours from now. The hell, dude? You suck. Two hours? I have two hours to do this mission? Like, damn, dude. Like, that's not much time at all, you know? Ah! Let's save, I guess, is uh, this one. All right, so how do we, how do we, how do we go there? I don't know. I kind of want to look at your, your table. Okay, where is his office? Is this his office? Um, all right, go. Oh, no. That's his office right there. No. How do I get out of here? Who's this? I had, Comrade Captain, but Comrade Major Volov dutifully pointed out the danger of unproductive pleasure seeking. That's because he's he's a butt. How do I get, how do I, how do I actually leave? Oh, I click the map, maybe? I don't understand how this interface works, quite frankly. I'm gonna, I'm going in there. Oh. That looks like it's outside to me. Oh, that's where I'm going. That's his thing. Duh. Jeez, I'm dumb. Just kidding, I'm not dumb. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm doing okay, Lars, how are you? And thank you, Ambrosine, thanks for contributing to the boost. We're getting, we're getting close. Your papers, are you relative? Uh. And we did it. We did it. Look at that. Boom! Oh, yeah. Captain Rukov, KGP. I'll need to see some identification, comrade. Um, I assume I have some identification. Okay. Take. Take this. Click here. Show it to him. He inspects your ID card and hands it back. Alright. Everything in order? Yes. Very well. Come and help me look around. My orders are to remain here. Very well. Alright. 
Let's go. Alright, let's look at stuff. Find a set of batteries. Nice. Let's take them. Yoink. We yoink those batteries. You find a vodka bottle in the glass that seems already to have been searched by a professional. Ah, oh, let's take the glass. Let's just take all the stuff. Find a pack of cigarettes Yoink! and some matches. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Take all the stuff. Filing cabinet. Metal. Seems to have already been searched. You find a bug. Ooh, we find a bug. Let's write down this phone number. Three eight three two seven nine. Let's take that. Maybe we'll have to use it later. Fairly new. Okay. Foreign titles all concern stunning success in business. You find $2. Ooh, $2! Yes! Two American dollars? It's dusty. It seems already to, to have been searched by a professional. It's locked. It says nothing special. It's locked. So does that mean it's special or it's not special? I mean, I figure if something locked, I want to unlock it, right? I mean, let's look at the table. Nothing hidden there. Okay, I found a bug, so that's uh, that's kind of important, I think. Use. Look, listen, move, hide, move. Let's move, let's be moving, let's move stuff. Let's move all the things. I can't, I can't move anything. Nothing is movable. Alright. I don't see anything else I can inspect or whatever. Can we take this? Can't take it. Let's make the door. Several locks. Grubby. Alright. Grubby. Grubby. Oh, there's a vase. The flowers are on their last leg. Alright, look at the window. Hasn't been clean in a while. Alright. These flowers are quite fresh. That's interesting that the flowers are fresh. That's, that seems interesting. It's almost like this room was recent. Why would he have why would why would he have a vase of not good flowers and a vase of like fresh flowers? That doesn't make sense. Naturally. You're a KGB, aren't you? These portraits look really weird. You know? Should I tell her I'm... No, I, I'm gonna say... He was also before he went private. What is going on, comrade? I'm sorry to say your brother is dead. She stares blankly at you. Why have you come here this afternoon? I've come to see him, that is all. For any particular reason? He left a note in my letterbox asking me to come. Um... You ask about the note. It said I was to come here after my work, that's all. I don't know why my brother's activities do not concern me. Very careful. Very confusing for you. Ask about his, her brother. He's been a private detective since he left the KGB two years ago. I never asked about his work. 
We've seldom been in touch with each other. Well, it's odd that he asked you to come to the office. A mysterious character, your brother. Ask about herself. I, I teach. My husband's a chemist. I have two children. We are honest. It was less stable. He never married. Thanks for the taco party, Cannon. Alright. Marriage is an excellent thing, comrade. I am not surprised. Such men are usually sexual deviants. <laughs> what the hell kind of answers are these? Uh, talk about... You asked for the note. I left it at home, I'm sorry. Ask for her papers. She shows you her papers. Primary school teacher married. Eh. If you're honest, you have nothing to fear. I understand, comrade. Sit down if you like. Thank you. Oh, she sit down. She sits down. Okay. I have to report back by six. Just to be clear. The station simulator is awful. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Do you know anything about these flowers? Thank you for your time. This may be important. He left it in my letterbox. What? Why did you do? Why did you give me that before? What the heck? She hands you an audio micro cassette. I asked for the note, and you're like, "Let's see what happens when I click this." It's rain and tacos. Report back to Comrade Major Vovlov, and don't forget the tape. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for that. That was what I was going to do, but I appreciate your assistance. I'm gonna save the game again. All right. Thanks for the taco party, Brave Star. All right, I assume we go out this door to leave. Yeah, okay. Talk. You say... Anything to tell me? Nothing. I see. All right, let's go. We can, we can just be belligerent this whole game if we want to. Look at this pixel art. In my office, Rukov. Fine. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, take. He doesn't want it. Okay. Yellow. Okay. Thanks for the follow. You say, I discovered nothing. In I discovered nothing unusual. I did, but that's not true. I did. I discovered a bug, and I got a tape. That's a, that's a lie. Why would I? Why would I lie? Let's let's try the bug. He doesn't want it. Okay, I'm I'm really confused. I feel like I discovered nothing unusual. Your orders were obeyed in all respects, Comrade Major. Of course, nothing particular to report. I trust. I interviewed her sister, and I discovered nothing. Her sister handed me a micro cassette and left in, he had left in her mailbox. Give it to me. Yes, sir. You hand over the micro cassette. Volkov takes the micro recorder from his desk and plays a tape. You can't hear anything since he listens through headphones. He stares stonily at you throughout, then puts the equipment back in his drawer. Did you listen to this tape? Uh. Of course not. I'm dumbfounded. You stumble upon what could be a vital consent and you chose not to listen to it? You're confined to administrative duties. <laughs> hey, you caught me before I could listen to it, you dumbass. What? This guy's just a jerk. 
Like, seriously. I come to the office and he's like, Report to my office right now! You know, I could have come on back to my office and listened to the tape if he wouldn't have, like, interrupted me. That's, that's dumb. I just, I just want to say that's a little bit dumb. I guess we need to find a tape recorder and listen to it. I guess. Do we have one? Do we have, do we have a, do we have one? We don't have one. See, here's the problem. We don't actually have one. Are we supposed to, like, make one? Tell me we're not supposed to make one. Hide, move, listen, fight, use. No batteries, no music. I mean, we can go outside, that's it. Maybe we just have to say we listen to it. I don't know. That guy was a jerk. Listen. We don't we can't just like use. First take the object, then use it on something. Take. On the photo. On the dollars. On the rupees. We have rupees and dollars. Here. Put it on the battery. On that. On my gun. My ID. Hey, we have a key? Where did we get this key from? Where did we get the key from? I don't, I don't know where we got that key from. Okay, we got... I put the key on the desk, and then we found the key on the desk. That's funny. But that's not where we got the key from. Is, the, is it like a key to our office or something? How are we supposed to listen to this tape if you don't let me go to my office and, uh... Oh, a bit. Oh, I know. I know what we're supposed to do. I just figured out what we're supposed to do, which is kind of dumb. I think we're supposed to go to our Va uncle Vanya's. I think that's what we're supposed to do. That's my guess. That's my guess. What do you think? lets you into the apartment and you share with him. Okay. Does, does he have like a... Does he have a... I shall have to give you another front door key since you've lost yours. He takes a key from his keychain and hands it to you. Don't lose it, my boy. I don't have an inexhaustible supply, you know. Your Uncle Vanya is locked, locking his bedroom door. He spins his wheelchair around to greet you. I didn't expect you to get home so early. You snoopers don't overdo it, I see. Okay, do you have a... Do you have a... Do you have a... Like a... Like a tape recorder or something? Who's who's Yeager? Kitchen. There's a lot of stuff here. Is 
Sixty dollars. Let's take the sixty dollars. Okay, uh Not to enter my room. Respect my privacy, please. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in here either. What the hell? Um Maybe we're just supposed to say we saw it. We 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 did something with it. I don't know. I guess we'll leave. Are you supposed to find a way to listen to the tape record? The tape? So, like, I get thrown into this office. Oh, this time I can say I found a hidden microphone. Luckily, the diode is off, meaning the device is dead. Otherwise, you would have you would have been actively aiding your foreign saboteurs. Okay, I I don't know. We got we got to listen to this tape, so we have to listen to the tape. That's that's what we need to do. We have to find a way to listen to this tape because he won't let us come to our office because he's a dick. He's a dick. Like, I feel like. It's gonna be... We're gonna have to make our own tape recorder. I feel like we're gonna have to make our own tape recorder. Using matchsticks and a matchbook and... Blah, 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 blah. That's what it feels like right now. Okay, that's not what I wanted. That's what it fe It kind of feels like we're gonna make our own tape recorder, but maybe not. I burnt the thing. <laughs> I also feel like his advice was bad, you know? Maybe we can maybe we can do it in his office. I didn't think about that, but maybe we can do it in his office. That would be that would be kinda weird, wouldn't it? This feels like a pixel hunt, like a like just a pixel hunt to me. And it's on a timer too. We obviously have to load. Bite the flowers. Take that, flowers! Hey, flowers, how's it going? <laughs> Let's hide in the flowers. Hide, hide behind the desk. Nope. 
number of crunched cockroaches lie bottom. It seems to already have been searched by a professional. Okay, I... I'm, I'm a little bit baffled here. Maybe, maybe he's got a tape recorder or something? He's dead, that's all I know. I see. Oh, here we go. He hands me a key. Okay, well, there there you go. He, he handed me a key. So that's what we needed. All right. Excellent, comrade. You've opened it. You find a newspaper and a recorder. It seems already to have been searched by a professional. All right, let's take those things. You insert the cassette and press the play button. Nothing happens. Open it, you see it. There needs to be batteries. You remove the cassette. Oh, well, we have batteries, conveniently. In the microset, a man's voice speaks. Tuesday, August 13th. Romeo was finally fixed me at a meeting with his boss, Hollywood, for tomorrow, 8 p.m. Enthusiastic Prog Progress Club. Romeo won't be present, so I'm to identify myself as buyer two. Wait, what, what was it? But buyer two. And Romeo. The code name suggests they may have already have or may wish me to believe that they have another foreign distributor. Discovering Hollywood's real identity may prove tricky. Hollywood. But you'll have something positive for my next report for Jealous Husband, whose own identity I may be able to discover tonight. This mysterious client may very well be working for my own ex-masters, i.e. KGB, judging from his use of drop zones for all communication between us. I intend, I intend staking out the drop zone until he picks up the report, then I'll tail him. It's worth the risk. Alright, there we go. Now we know all that we need to know. So now we can leave, right? Oh, yeah, totally. He wants the drawer key back. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy it! Enjoy your- enjoy your drawer key. I'm listening. Did it indeed. Avoid unauthorized initiatives in the future. Tell me the code name of the person he was supposed to meet tonight. Hollywood? Very well. Go and wait in your office. So he punishes me if I didn't listen to the tape, and he punishes me if I do listen to the tape. Which, you know, basically, no matter what, you're wrong. If you listen to the tape, he says, avoid unauthorized initiatives. If you don't listen to the tape, he says, basically, you didn't do enough work. You should have listened to the tape. That's basically what he says. Don't do it, but do it. That's that's not a way to manage somebody. I just 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 management lesson. Don't punish them for everything they do, regardless of, of what it is. That's that's basically that's basically an abusive relationship right there between my boss and myself. If he basically says everything I do is wrong. 
Captain Comrade Rukov, Comrade uh, Colonel Glushkin is waiting for you in his office. Straighten your jacket, you follow the guard who directs you to his office. Okay. Um, I just, just <laughs> what, what was that? Uh, did, did you mean to, to straighten it out, Lieutenant? What, what, what was going on in there? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't. I I will admit I didn't. In, uh, I didn't. I didn't attend KGB management school. I I will say that. All right, all of that seems point. Well, I guess it doesn't seem pointless. Uh, finally, comrade colonel. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Kevkova, you may go home now. Excellent, officer. So, Max Mihailovich, a checkist at last. I realize your transfer here was not your idea. You would no doubt have preferred to remain with the GRU. Remember, though, that times have changed. Here at Department P, we root out KGB corruption. No need to be ashamed of that, eh? What is he, Canadian? No need to be ashamed of that, eh? Quite right, eh? So you uncovered some interesting evidence at Galitzin's how office. A logical outcome of diligent obedience to orders, Comrade Colonel. I hope my efforts have been of some value. Excellent! Max, you are worthy son of your father. Well, thanks. That's... I, 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 don't, I don't know how... You are a worthy son of your father. Well, thanks. Since, you, since you've listened to the tape, you know almost as much as I do. If there is a KGB involvement in, the, in this business of illegal exports, then we'll have to clear it up. And it's your job. This evening, I'll you. This evening, you will go to the Enthusiastic Progress Club on Kirst Street. The club is a hangout for antisocial elements and is situated in an apartment building. The criminal we're after, uh, the one whose code name is Hollywood, probably lives in one of the apartments. Your mission is to locate his apartment, get inside, and have a good look around. We need you to know the nature of this criminal's activities. Report your findings. By eight tomorrow. What? What? what the, what's with what its time limit? You know, good investigative work takes time. You know, good investigative work isn't like we we need some good investigative work here. The word of advice: be discreet. I'd be careful not to say Hollywood or buy or two to the wrong kind of people. Off you go. Fine, I guess. We're going off since you're on your since you're on clandestine work. You'll have to leave your weapon, uniform, and KGB ID card here. You'll receive false papers. You hand your pistol, uniform, and card into, into equipment. You are now an undercover agent wearing an ill-fitting gray suit. Should we go home and get better clothes? Let's go home and get better clothes. Before we do anything else. We have better clothes at home, so let's get those. Yeah, we, we've already done this. Your, your first day of snooping is over. No, actually, it's not. It's actually not over. <clears throat> there we go. See? Look, that looks way better. Now we're in civilian clothes. See? We're a civilian. Not a... Not a... 
suited civilian, a regular civilian. All right, let's save. Save. There we go. Now we're leaving. Go to Kursk Street. All right, here we are at the uh, at this this toughened plate glass window. Through the window, you see a smoke-filled beer bar with a flute up a few clients. Yeah, I'm, I switched out of my undercover KGB agent uniform to my actual clothes that I would wear. Hey, Romeo. I thought you were out of town. Wait, what? Something turned up, so I didn't go. I think you save again. Save. Hello there. Eden. Nothing special. Oh, I do different things. What about you? Uh, I work for a bike, a bike, a bicycle brake manufacturer. Sounds fascinating. Depends. I've been waiting for you. We'll go see Hollywood right now. Hey, Gab, old, he's here. Let's go. You're Golitsyn. I'm Yuri Gargarin's old godmother. You made a mistake, friend. The other club members pretend to not notice as the ugly twins kick your brains around on the floor. Alright. Apparently he doesn't know who we are, but apparently somebody actually knows knows who we are. So that was a failure. I, I, I mean, that's a death. I haven't been adding deaths, but we should add a few. We've died three times. So, I have not been adding those, but we've definitely died three times. We've gotten to the point of this restart the game. Alright, let's go back. Okay, we, if we ask about Hollywood, same thing happens. So, that's another death. Which is what I thought would happen, but you know, it was worth it was worth checking. It's a private staircase, you can't go up. Okay. Maybe it's because we don't have our suit on. I think it's because we don't have our suit on. Let's change our let's change into our suit. Let's see if we can just do it in the middle of the of the uh <laughs> we can. We can just do it in the middle of the uh Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, so it's not the clothes. It's not the clothes. We know it's not the clothes. Where do you think you're going? That's not the toilet. Oh, let's talk to the let's talk to the barman. Ask about what do you want to know. Here's a good place to talk business. You selling or maybe you're a buyer? Maybe a little of both? If my memory serves, it's it's a private club, members only. What's suspicious? Tattoos? Sunglasses? Don't ask me. Hi, 
everybody! Hi, Dr. Nick! Hey, Seth! Hi, Wynn! Thanks for the raid! How is it going? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to... KGB. K a G a B with Donald featuring Donald Sutherland. Hey Seth and hey a Wendy. How's it going? You were playing Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Nice. I hope that I hope, I hope that went well for you. It's a job. I mean, uh, you look like you can handle trouble when I have to. Yuri. Risky if you don't have contacts. True. You have contacts. Depends. You in business? Might be. Nice. We're just... What if I ask about Hollywood? Let's see. Maybe you've been, been drinking too much. If you're looking for somebody who lives around here, you should try the apartments around back. Oh, I can go around back? Alright. Is there a way to go around back? Oh, there's a go around back! Oh, there's an around back. I did not know that. We can go down the street and stuff. Look at this. Whoa, who's that? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, man. Oh, it just loops around. Okay, it loops around. So that's nice. Nobody answers. All right. A preposterous name for a club. I imagine they discuss tractor performance. Or Stokhanovish revitalism. I have little time for the cinema, my man. I'm going home. You should be at work instead of hanging around on street corners. Tobacco and alcohol, you and your kind drain and all our health resources. It's getting colder by the minute. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Nobody answers. Nobody answers! Okay, let's go this way. What's this? It's, it's a box, but we can't do anything with it, so, you know, I guess we won't, we won't. An apartment window. We can't, we can't, like, open the window. Let's knock on the window. We can't do that. Alright. Dang! Oh, we can't. What? It's a pl good place to get bored to death. Alright. If it's red, that means you can't do it. Let's fi fight this drain pipe. Take that drain pipe. Move the drain pipe. No. Listen to the drain pipe. Listen. Oh, we can listen at the window. Apart from the murmur. I didn't think about listening at the windows. That's a good idea. That, that's that's a good idea. Listen at the windows. Okay. I don't know what that is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, we got we got something from here. From that window. Listen. 
hear nothing special, you hear nothing in particular, you hear nothing. Alright, this this looks like a pretty uh pretty interesting building here. Heard that again, you hear nothing special. Let's knock on the door. Nobody answers. Okay. Listen here, here. Well, who's this? Talk. Nice dog you've got. He likes me. Wa he likes me talking to strange men. It means he may eat the next day. Hell, dude. Asked about her job. Why don't you come to my apartment and I'll show you? This this sounds interesting. I I, I kind of want to save the game and see what happens. You have to have at least fifty dollars. Wait, didn't I get $60? Oh, no, I didn't get it. We should have arrested her. We should have arrested her. For some reason. Trash can. Oh, here's a door. Look at this door. This is a fancy ass door. Answers. Damn it, nobody's answering. Probably because they're not home. That's my guess. What's that supposed to mean? Okay. Man. Okay, we're back here apparently. So we've looped. Looks like we've looped. I'm back. I'm back. How you got? How y'all doing? Did you miss me? I was just hanging around in the back alleys. You know, I wonder if we should take that, um... Let's go... Let's go, um, get that $60. Let's go get that $60. Whoa! It's a new scene. Look at that. The heck is up with that? Alright, we had $60 somewhere. Didn't we? $60. There's $60. We just happened to find $60. Like, we didn't know it was there or something. You place yourself under visual... You place yourself under visual or surveillance. You smarten yourself up. You make... You smarten yourself up. We're smartened. Alright. And then we eat something. Then we smarten ourselves up again. And then we go back to here.
go. Alright. Actually, we don't, I don't really care to be in here. Whoa, that one dude's gone. I just noticed that one guy's gone. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Wait, wait, is the bartender gone? What the hell? Oh. Where's the bartender? Oh, we can go back here. Oh, he's back there. Okay. What the hell are you doing back there? It's private. Clear out. This is the line of toilet? Get out of here. Interesting. I think he might be Hollywood. What do you think? You think he's he's the guy? You think he's the guy? I don't know. But hey, we have the sixty dollars now. We have sixty two dollars. We'll see what he has to say. This lovely building must have a superintendent. Find him. Super Nintendo Chalmers? Oh, we can go- Whoa! We can go in here! I didn't realize that! Oh, that's the back door! Huh, interesting. Uh-oh. That's not good. That was bad. See, I, I think we just, I think we just died. Well, we didn't die, but you know, we did bad stuff. Oh, look at this. We're in a, we're in a place. He, he won't notice we're here. You know? Alright, we got- we got beat up, but we're still- we're fine. We're fine. Oh, he locked the door! He locked the door! Dang it. Alright, we should load, I guess. Okay, we want to go to the, uh... I don't think we have the $60 now, so we need to go to our house and get the $60. Go to my house. Interesting. When stuff is flashing, that seems like it's good. That means, like, you should definitely interact with that thing. Right? That's what it seems like to me. It's 
So after nine, I think it turns into nine. And after nine, I guess it turns into this. All right, so I think we can go in here now. So I'm gonna save again. So we can go in here. Okay, if we use the light, then he comes in. So this, 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 this makes us die, basically. All right. We can go up the stairs. No, I didn't, ah, I didn't mean to go in there. I did not mean to go in there, so I'm gonna load. We didn't actually die, but. I meant to turn on the light switch. Okay, and then they come in when I turn on this light switch. Kick their asses. Uh, no, that doesn't work either. Kicking their asses is not the right answer. Alright. I feel like we need a flashlight or something to be successful here. You know? What's he say now? Act with confidence, Max. You are a Rukov. Okay, whatever that means. Let's change it to a suit. Let's go with suit. I, I'm more confident with suit. Ah, it's about time you showed up. Nope. That's not right. Let's try it again. Let's let's try another dialogue option. They're after me, you gotta help me. So that's no either. They're just they just they just don't wanna deal with this, apparently. All right, back to office. Okay, well, um, unless we have a light, we're basically, we basically can't do anything. Um, and we can't go through the door or they kick us out. So it's too dark to see. Um, so we need some sort of light source, which we do not have. What's this door? Oh, this, this door goes to the street. And that door goes into the bar. Okay, I got it. So we need some sort of a light? We need some sort of flashlight or something. Right? So let's see if we can go, let's see if we can find one at our house. Like just, let's just try and find a flashlight. And see if there's one just happens to be in here. I mean, I guess we have matches. I hadn't thought about that. We have, but we have matches. That that's a light source right there. That might be enough. Which is actually kind of disturbing because that almost implies you can get soft locked in this game pretty easily if you don't if you miss something earlier in the game, you know. If we wouldn't have gotten the matches, we wouldn't have them, and maybe we could have gotten soft locked. I don't know. No, I have not seen iHeart in quite a while. Actually, 
actually Austin. clipboard with a blank sheet of paper. Why is this like flashing like this? This lovely building must have a superintendent. I know you've already told me Find that. Him. I know you've already told me that. I don't know why you were flashing like a maniac. It's just it's just vodka. There's nothing but vodka in here. It's just like Vodka Central. Do we have a pencil so we can like use the do the pencil trick on it? Like the pencil trick on a piece on a on a on a piece of paper is like that's the ultimate adventure game logic there. You know? Is it too dark again? Oh, it's too dark again. dark again okay when we transition rooms it becomes too dark is that is that the issue oh no we got caught oh no oh no um just you know i think that's bad but whatever what if we go back in the building you again Okay, so we get thrown out of the bar. Is ultimately what happens. Okay, and then we get brutally attacked. All right. Okay, so we can't go back in the bar. Well, that's not good. We probably don't need to, is my guess. I'm guessing we don't need to go back into the bar. So, um... I hope we don't, at least. But if we do, then we do. I mean, here's the thing. We could use Ash, too. We don't necessarily have to use, um... We don't necessarily have to use, like, uh... Like, a pencil. We could use, like, an a Ash or something like that on that piece of paper in order to reveal any any contents of what was written on it on the piece of paper before it. So that may be what we need to do. I didn't want to use them to light my way. Rub the newspaper on it. Wait, what do my false papers say? You're a Clement, a commercial representative for the Red Banner Bicycle Brake Production Unit. Wow. We're almost out of matches, and I don't like it. We smoked a whole packet of cigarettes? Yeah. Jeez. 
Jeez. <laughs> we just, we just, we just lit ourselves on fire. We just lit ourselves on fire. I just want to point out what exactly happened there, and that is we lit ourselves on fire. That's what, that's what happened there. Alright, we're gonna use our, we're gonna, we're gonna do this and get the notebook thingy. Um, which is in here. Our clipboard, rather. All right, now what do we do? We have to find the Super Intended, or Super Nintendo. Find that Super Nintendo. Hey, Trash Can, how's it going? How's it going, Trash Can? I hope you're, I hope you're doing well. You're not? All right, sorry to hear that. Maybe there's somebody in it, let's knock on it. No, that didn't work. Alright, go this way. Knock on this door. No one answers. Go. Oh, we can just go in the damn door! Oh. Why? Why? I don't understand why the smart cursor sucks so much. Like, it really kind of sucks. You know? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a bathroom. It's a bathroom. Let's turn the light on. We can't turn the light on. Use the toilet. Use the light switch. Use the toilet. Despite your it's manly efforts, time, nothing no. comes out. Ah, uh, no pooping. Flush the toilet. Oh, we don't get flushing noises? All right, let's let's save electricity and turn the light off, cause we're cause we're good. Let's just let's just let's just like let's just find the Super Nintendo. Probably door one. If I were a Super Superintendent, I would be under door. I would be in door one, right? That's where I'd be. My door would be number one, cause I am the head head honcho. So, let's try door one first. Door opens. That's not a Super Nintendo. Would you mind participating in an opinion poll? Getting on with the neighbors. Whatever it is, I'm sure it would be interesting. Do come in. This is my husband. We have a visitor! Oh, welcome! Uh, oh, welcome, young man! Well, well! That's what he said. Talk. Uh, you say... What a fine apartment! So warm and comfortable! Why, thank you! I've tried to make it so. You say... May I take a look at the rest of your apartment? And certainly! You are shown around, nothing unusual. Oh, we have none. We never go there. They're, they're all so friendly, never any trouble. No, I, I don't know him. Perhaps you could ask the, the superintendent in apartment 7 upstairs. Well, there you go. We got, we got, we got apartment seven. 
We don't notice very much of what goes on. Why don't you try the superintendent upstairs? We never go there. We're both retired teachers. Our old pupils often come to see us. She served you. You drink gratefully. This is Rotislav. Yulinov. I am his wife, Emma, and you? Comment Krugov. Okay. Later. Later, nerds. You take your leave. I hope we've been of help, young man. Good night. All right, we found out where the Super Nintendo is, so we'll go there. We got... What's this door? Oh, it's another bathroom. This one looks a little bit nicer, just just a bit. It's not on the first floor. You know, people are people when people go to the bathroom, they don't they don't uh they don't Yeah, we got we we're taking care of that thirst meter. Exactly, Scar Emerald. Alright, let's knock on this door. Roma, at last oh, yes? I'd like to ask you a few questions. You've got a clipboard. It must be for an opinion poll. What's it about? Oh, the clipboard was that. Um, crime. I see. Well, come in. You follow her into the apartment. Wait, who's this? Clara, this man is asking questions about crime. I love jewel thieves creeping over roofs at, at moonlight. No, it's for an opinion poll. Knock. Knock. Knock on them both. Nope, that didn't work. Look at the... Look, there's a briefcase. Look at that briefcase. That's suspicious. That briefcase is suspicious. Isn't it? Alright. You say, I'm investigating a criminal organization based in this building. May I look around your lo- I'm sorry, this isn't a zoo. You say, Are you, or have you ever been a criminal? Who hasn't? You'll need something to write with. She hands you a pen. Do you know any hardened criminals? Depends on what you mean hardened. I don't think so. <clears throat> your apartment is... Modern. Thank you. You say... Do Mafia-type people frequent this building? I suppose in the club over the bar. You ask about the bar. It's got nothing to do with the opinion poll. I'm investigating a criminal organization based in this building. I'm not really doing an opinion poll. Then what do you want? I heard you enjoy casual sex? <laughs> what? What? All right, I'm clicking that button. Who told you that? Hollywood. I detest American cult culture precisely because they devalue everything. Out! Okay, that, that didn't work. That didn't work! I, I, I didn't think it would work, but you know, it was worth a try. I'm a librarian. Local crime. Crime's everywhere. It's inevitable given the current socioeconomic situation. You'll need something to write with. She hands you a pen. I'm afraid nothing exciting happens here. Perhaps in the club. Well, I did. I, you asked me about the club. Yeah, 
I can just I can go back in. Why the pretense about opinion polls? I couldn't say anything in the hallway. That makes sense. I suppose you want answers. An adventurous name. I, I wish I knew someone like that. Would anybody around here be likely to know him? I have no idea. I, I, I did it again. Oh, yeah. I did. I did. Had a half hour. Alright. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe I should make it so when I go back to the screen, it starts the timer again. I don't know. You ask for some money, her name. Xantha. Why you ask? It helps me remember. Oh. No, a friend of mine was killed by someone here. That's dreadful. Why isn't the mil militia investigating it? They say there's no proof. I have to find it. Well, I'm not surprised by what you say. You think there are criminals here? The club, probably. It's, it's over the bar. Now that I think of it, you ought to question Pavel Beluskov in apartment 5. He spent a year in La Fortal, La, La Fortovo. Hey, Croxy, how's it going? For theft. Yeah, I could do that too. But I could make it so I start the timer whenever I go back to the to the to the to the game. So that might be the best idea. Like I have it automatically stop the timer when I go to the cat cam. I could make it start the timer when I go back to the DOS box window. He came here drunk and sobbing one night and told us, could could be your man. I felt sorry for him, but then he laughed and boasted about how he fooled them or something. He's horrible. Then, when he got out of Lepportovo, his brother-in-law or someone he knows who's a factory manager gave him a job. And Belosov got a new Moscow residence permit. And then he tried to rape Santa, pig. He's... He's bad. We're trying to get... Inf We're trying to get info on people. Same question. You say... A drunken swine, adult in a loud mouth. Alright, I think we're done here. Can we talk to her? She's a secretary. Well, the club has lots of strange people, and there's Comrade in apartment two. He's very funny. Is that the apartment? No, we were in apartment one. Okay. Apartment five. Let me write that down. Apartment five. 
You leave by the corridor here every night. They leave by the corridor here every night, knocking on our door and laughing. Because they're jerks. The bar. It's so yucky. I went once. It was all drunken men. He never has meat, except for friends, I think. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, it, it, he sells meat to his friends? Okay. Most are old and sad, except for the Yolvanovs in apartment one. Poor old Satenko in apartment seven lost his wife about six months ago. Heart attack. Who else? Okay, so apartment six is uh, Sinton Poe, and apartment one is uh, you. We know them. They're like, they, they seem pretty innocent, right? Apartment three is a very, a three is Roman. She knows, a, she knows a lot about the people here. She's nice, okay. I'll ask more specific questions. They seem very gentle. They're retired now. I don't know what they used to do. They were teachers. I know that. He, he's just an oaf, you know. Disgusting. Disgusting. Alright. He mutters. I think he's an accountant or something. Gives me the shivers. He's so handsome, his wife doesn't understand him at all. He's so sad since his wife died, he runs the meat shop by the bar. Sounds suspicious. Sorry, we don't have any. All right. You take your leave. Later, nerds! Save game. So what, what, ex what door do they leave by? This one? Oh yeah, it's this one. Okay, it's that door. Okay, we know what door it is now. We died. But we just saved, so I was curious what door it was, and apparently it's this door. Okay, apartment five. Let's knock on it. All right, I'm coming. The door opens. I'm listening. Local citizen stamp out crime group, may I come in? I'm buyer too. Wrong door, try the club. Okay, that did not work. You don't happen to know anyone named Hollywood. Who? I never heard of him, or her. You've got problems, moron. Those two cows blab. Listen, I, I'm leading an honest life now, I swear. Start talking, or that Moscow residence permit gets torn up. Listen, I don't know nothing. I'm clean. If you're after a criminal, you gotta lean on room, room, Ryumin in apartment four. That low life done five years. Okay. The only apartment that we weren't told about by those people. That's a labor camp for traitors and such like scumbags. Afterwards, he lived in Navoska bricks in some damn or some damn place, and he only got some Moscow got to Moscow because Shikarov and Gorbachev. A little runt, that little runt spends his life spying. He's your criminal, not me, so leave me alone. Okay, well, that was somewhat successful. We got some info, right? Apartment 4. 
Are you from the club? You're a perceptive man. I've already asked you people not to bother us. We have no vodka. We don't ha want to drink your vodka. Go home. Okay, that would be a no. I've already said I can't help. Isn't that clear? That's enough. I am not a well. I am not a well man, and my wife is poor. Please go. Okay. You bothered me quite enough with your nonsense. Please don't trouble me unless you have something useful to say. No. Dear God, you'd better come in. <laughs> yeah, take that, nerd. Luda. Please don't worry, this man knows about my stay. Oh, Edic, will you tor will the torture never end? We must face whatever comes, my dear. What the heck just happened here? Okay. Must face whatever comes, my dear. Now, comrade, why have you come? I'm looking for criminals, and I think you can help me. Oh, God, he thinks you're a criminal. It's only to be expected, my dear. We must be strong. Who are you, young man? Clement Krugloff. I represent the Red Banner Bike Brake Unit. Bicycle Brake Unit. Tell me what you know of untrustworthy people in this building. The club, go there. They're all godless gangsters. How do you know? Tell me about the club. We would never go there. I know none of them. Just to see them is enough to know they are wicked. I want full details of your present criminal activities. You're all the same. You think disgusting... You think distributing Bibles makes me a gangster? Tell me about your neighbors. Anything criminal? It's not... I'm not the militia. Those two young men in apartment 7 are undoubtedly... Young women in apartment 7 are undoubtedly prostitutes. In apartment 6 clearly has dealings with black marketers. Apartment 6, black marketers. Man, we're getting a lot of info here. The only clients he has in his meat shop since his poor wife died are gangsters, and they certainly never buy meat. He doesn't seem to have any. Take a look at his shop. That's that is all I can tell you. Believe me, comrade. Go, young man. I have no more to say. You have caused this enough worry. If you come back, I shall call the call in the authorities. You see what I did to him, Petka? What I don't what I don't get is why you made me take the look because it means we don't have to go in the hard way anymore. From now on, from now we do it nice and easy. That's progress. The two thugs go sneaker up the stairs. Okay. Uh, what was that apartment six? All right, I think we should, I, I think we should save again. Um, I don't like doing all the saving though. It makes me nervous. Let's talk to this guy. Look at, <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Uh, what can I do for you? Yes. I'm looking for a manium hollow void. I don't suppose. Sorry, try the club. Alright. I feel sure you've got information I need. Yes. Tell me about your meat shop. What about it? You you don't sell much meat. What if the militia made an inspection? Whoever are, you are, your luck's running out. In that case, I apologize.
All right, we need to we need to investigate the meat shop. Where is this meat shop? Is this the meat shop? Yeah. Do we have a way to open it? Can we pry it open with our, like... You have made borscht to this, Max. Try again. Wait, what? You are going in circles, Max. Take a moment to regroup. Then start over. Start over? What are you talking about? I'm not starting over. Fight the door. Fight the door. Use the door. Go the door. Talk to the door. Move the door. Use the door. You think he's got you think he You think he hides a key somewhere? You think he you think he hides a key somewhere, maybe? Maybe he's got a hidden key. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Not in the pipe either. I mean, we'd have to knock down the door, I guess. But... I think we have to go... I think we're gonna go back. I, I'm gonna go back to him, I guess. And, like... He's not gonna answer. He's not gonna answer. He's he's like he's not answering me. We need to investigate that shop. Maybe we can I don't know. I'll just I'll just ask talk to everybody. Well no, I never allow strangers in, you see. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm afraid I have a little trouble with my hearing. Okay. She's not gonna talk to me at all. We've already talked to five and six. Check, check. Alright. We talked to them. The door opens and a man beckons you in. He glances up and down the corridor, then shuts the door. The seal. Yes, we are safe. Oh, hey okay, then. This is quite the place. Is he going to murder me? Don't worry, it is wrought with the power of the inf ineffable. Okay, let's ask about the seal. It keeps the Dark Ones out. I'm fighting a losing battle, I know it, but every act of resistance against the Dark Ones gains precious seconds. They're waiting, and I'll make them wait! Okay. There are no local problems, merely symptoms. Crime, poverty, drunkenness, anarchy. These are signs. Marks of the beast. His time has come! Okay. A din of devilry. I feel the evil, the cackle of vice. In... Inquisitive... 
iniquitous name, glistening like evil fruit beckoning. I know of no such person. About the bar. I never go there. There lurks the darkness of the soul. The wanting, waiting shadow. Okay, he's, um... The devil spawn! This is their time. The world is slipping into the reeking abyss, pushed by the evil ones. Feel their presence! Condemned. All of them except the evil one... Except the evil one's servants. Oh! Condemned! 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 You dare utter that abomination in my presence? Wait, what did we just ask about? Who did we just ask about? I don't know who we just asked about. Was it like the first apartment that we asked about? Dang it, I wanna... Yeah, it was, it was them. What the heck? He's calling it, he's calling the, the teachers the, the abominations. That's, that's interesting. Numbers are my work. I add them, subtract them, and divide. Oh, he's the accountant. And I fill columns with them. Some are good, but some reek most evil. Let's introduce them to the ladies. You think they'd, he'd, they'd hit it off? I changed them, but my superiors refused to understand the, the essence of bookkeeping. Fools! I have no time to waste on fools! Politics, spouting mouthpieces. Don't waste my time. What future? There is no future! Can't you see? The Dark Ones are closing in. Man was has betrayed himself. Too late. Hold the Dark Ones back if you can. An hour, a day, pray. The churches are doomed along with all the rest. Let's see if he'll give me a glass of water. I cannot give you water. It would poison anyone except me. That's the protection, you see. Are you completely mad? It's the that's one of the dark one's ways to pen, of penetrating your physical plane. Okay. He's weird. Okay, maybe he'll give me a glass of vodka. Nope. Maybe tea? No. Yeah. What? 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 Oh, no. That's not good. I don't know what that was all about, but... He seems to think this teacher couple is the, uh, is the bad ones. Wait, what? Yes. He tries to bar plenty of unusual types here. He re-enters his apartment. Alright, I... I mean, this is obviously pretty investigative, and... What the heck is up with you guys? Oh, 
Okay, I think we're kind of, this this whole backtracking thing kind of sucks in a way. I mean, it really does. We have to figure out how to get in this meat shop is what we have to do. And and and, and he so so, because we bothered him... What the heck was that? I thought it was Charlie, but he's in the box. Oh, it's Nikita. It's Nikita, that's who it is. Well, look at this, look at this. It's the whole block. That's, that's, that's interesting. I thought this might be fast travel, but it's not. It's just, it's just a map. Oh, look, but I guess, that, I guess there is ways you can, things you can look at here. You can see all of the uh, apartments and stuff. Very interesting. All right. pick it. Maybe we can pick it with a pen. I mean, we're like awesome, you know? Maybe we can just, just use a pen and pick the lock. What do you think? No. That didn't work. I mean, we are awesome, but apparently not that awesome. Maybe we can try and use the key. Let's try something else. Mm. Well... A bug? Ooh, we have a bug. Blocked. Maybe you can, like, use the clipboard. We can burn the door down. Let's try and burn the door down. That didn't work. Uh... I think we're missing something. I think I think we're missing something. And I don't know what, but I think we're missing something. Let's, let's, what happens if I go in here? Nothing. There's four doors. There's this door, too. I thought that we might be able to, like, um, pick the door, but we don't have anything to pick it with. You know, we don't have a, we don't have a lock pick or anything like that, so that puts a bit of a, uh, of a damper on that idea, now doesn't it? I 
Maybe we can use the pin and... No. Like, uh, disassemble it? That didn't work. No. Wow. This is a game here. Trying to go through windows, but it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about the, the clipboard thing. We, we don't want, we don't want to go up there. He like doesn't like us being there with his clipboard, because his clipboard apparently is clearly identifiable. It must have his name written on it or something, I don't know. That's my guess. We need to figure out how to get in here. That's what we need to do. Let's go talk to the Super Nintendo, I guess. Maybe they have some ideas. I don't know. Actually, let's talk to them. I want to talk to them. Here's a good folks to come. Well, that's a step in the right direction. Tell me about the citizens group you represent. We're concerned about the rise in violent crime in the neighborhood. Yes, I see. What do you think the cause is? Young people looking for enjoyment? Social and political change, probably. Some effects uh, some effects are disastrous. I quite agree. Well, if we can help... What a fine apartment! May I look at the rest of your apartment? Certainly. We have none. We never go there. We never go there. Strange goings on. Local crime. The neighbors in general. Them. Retired teachers. They have no vodka. Okay, we get some tea. Nice! Some tea! Is that what this is? This looks like a coffee pot. Later, nerds! Oh, they, they're not answering me anymore. Oh, we haven't talked to them yet? Really? <clears throat> we haven't talked to this guy yet. I didn't realize we haven't talked to him yet. We have another. We have another chance. What do you need? Want from me? Patrol the street. Alright, I'm gonna knock again.
I don't, I don't know any criminals. Come on now, comrade. We are not children. Don't be so defensive, comrade. That's not necessarily good. All right, well, I need to find a way to get into his meat shop, basically. That's what I need to do. And I don't know how. So, either I need to find a item to get in there, or I need to talk to somebody in the neighborhood about getting in there. Or I need to search the trash for something. I hear nothing special with the trash. Standard issue trash. Well? Do we just have to wait? I mean, is it just a matter of waiting until something happens? Do we have to, like, let's stake out... Maybe we can stake out the meat shop and s wait for something to happen, you know? You must start again, Max. This phase of your investigation has gone badly. Oh, okay. We apparently need to backtrack, so getting him suspicious of us is apparently a really bad idea. Your investigation has run into ground. So apparently he's the you're dead ended detector, I guess. Apparently he's the you're dead ended detector. Okay, that's that's cool to know. And that's the back. So I guess we'll load uh, this game here. Um, I think we want to stake out the meat shop. I think that's what we want to do. I feel like we want to stake this place out. Think for yourself, Max. Bothering me, Max. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's not great. All right. Let's let's just. This is weird. This is a weird game. This is a very weird game.
Ah. Is that... Maybe he left the door open. I didn't think about that. Maybe he left the door open. No, he didn't leave the door open. Damn. Who was that? I ran into them before. What if I hide in the... You know, here's a thought. I have a thought. Yes, a thought. What if I hide in, like, a locker? Hide. If I hide somewhere in here. What if I hide somewhere in here? It appears if I can. Seemed like a good idea, but apparently, even though there's clearly places to hide, it won't let me hide. That's unfortunate. I can't hide there. What if I what if I hide in the trash can? I think I've already tried that though. No. Can't do that either. Well, We got a, we got a, you're on the right track, uh, indicator, but that's about it. We've got a, you're on the right track indicator. We've been, we've been stuck here for a while, you know? So I don't know, I don't know exactly what to do. I, I just, I just don't know. I feel like we need to get into the meat, the meat, the meat. Thingy. Whoops. I guess I hadn't thought about the... I just brought up the manual and, like, there's nothing in the manual that would help me, is there? Probably not. Moving the menu... Moving all of my windows around. Whoops. Okay. Um... Maybe we need to do something in here. We've already talked to them, right? Yeah, we've already talked to them, but we haven't talked to him. So, um... Who have we talked to? Okay, we've talked to him, apparently. Have we talked to... Whoops. Have we talked to this guy here?
Is that a yes? Oh wait, that's... Is that a yes? Shining Future Accommodations Complex. All inquiry super... Oh, that says where the Super Nintendo... Super Nintendo is. Nice. Let's let's get rid of this clipboard and let's see what happens if we get rid of the clipboard. Can we drop it? Oh, well, we can. We can just drop it. All right. I mean, we could have put it back, I guess. Let's see what happens if we go in here now without the clipboard. I'm afraid it's a members only club, sir. Um, a barman downstairs said it was okay. Allow me to doubt that. As manager of this club, you, I must ask you to leave. I was only joking. Allow me to contribute club funds. How thoughtful of you, sir. Dollars, naturally. Um, you offer him some money. How much? How much? Ten dollars? Twenty dollars? Thirty dollars? We had sixty dollars. Let's, let's split the middle and go with thirty. Welcome to the Enthusiastic Progress Club, sir. My name is Valeri. Allow me to serve you some of our best vodka, courtesy of the establishment. Well, there you go. We did it. You follow Larry over to the bar, where he serves you a small glass. A young client sitting at the window in the next room beckons you. Wait, the next room? Who? Alright, we better save. That's the toilet. That's not the next room. Who, who, who beckoned us? Who beckoned us? Somebody beckoned us. Who beckoned us? Somebody was beckoning. Let me tell you, a deal in high quality foreign films, one, one video cassette, how do you, how do you, how, how would you like the Maltese Falcon? You won't find this in any damn state store. You really ought to buy this video, you know. How much? Five dollars. Alright, that it was only five dollars. That's pretty good, right? Who 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 was beckoning me? Oh, were you beckoning me? Classy setup you have here. We find it congenial, sir. You say... I'd mingle with the other members if I were you, sir. And a, a, a quiet place, sir, as you can see, normally reserved for people in private enterprise activity. I used to manage a public sanitary convenience. My skills led me to be employed as a manager of this exclusive club. The owners appear satisfied. Nice. 
A serious subject, sir. Well beyond my managerial competence. Certainly, sir. this stop bothering me max you know what must be done <laughs> why did you why did you flash why did you flash then it contains cocaine it may not be the great idea to take other people's money but it would be grossly immoral to leave drugs for any innocent citizen to find them Even. <laughs> They're so rude. Second rate criminal riffraff. Please. Just because your uncle's in private business and make lots of money and he has a car and holidays abroad. Shut it! You're just a low-life black marketeer. Well, if it wasn't for him, he couldn't have become members here. Think of my career! Who cares? This place is a dump. Do you see anyone here who even knows what a film producer is? No one's going to ask you to star in anything. Not here. Alright. I, I don't really want to talk to you. I, I don't want to talk to you. What do you do with these drugs? Me do drugs. Oh. I don't know what you're supposed to do with drugs. Is there anything in the, is there anything about drugs in here? Find drugs. Oh, we're gonna have to like do text recognition on this document. In order for me to be able to search through it. So, that'll take a little while. You want some drugs? Hey, who wants some drugs? Does anybody here want some drugs? I have drugs. I have some drugs. Here, here, you want some drugs? I got some drugs for you. Here, I got some drugs. Um, that guy went into into the uh, toilet to use my drugs. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're welcome, I guess. I don't know. That's funny. That's funny. I find that funny.
Well, I got I got apparently I got rid of the drugs. Whoa, it's why is it What 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 happened? What happened? The heck? I don't understand what's going on. Where where were we? Bar's closed? Oh, the bar's closed. Oh. Okay. Oh. Stop. Why are you flashing if you don't want me to bother you? Quit flashing. Flashing implies you want me to bother you, and then you tell me not to bother you? Jeez, make up your mind. <laughs> I, I I think this might be bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here, because I feel like what's oh, it's art it's it's I feel like maybe we messed up and uh we wanted to do more in the bar. This is like really, really time based. You know, I feel like I feel like there's definitely a huge time component to a lot of this stuff, so. I don't know if there's levels of success that you can have on this, but uh... It looks, there, there seems to be a lot to this. Hey, Andron's Backlog. How's it going? Welcome to KGB, a.k.a. Conspiracy. Featuring Donald Sutherland. Conspiracy is featuring Donald Sutherland. How was Freedom Force? I hope it was a force. I hope you were a force of freedom. Maybe we can take the drugs. Wait, why is this flashing? See, here it goes again. Max, even the dead need some rest. You can take care of this yourself. See, I don't know why it flashes. Let's see if we can use the drugs. Let's see, use drugs. Take drugs. Eh, 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 eh. We can put it back in the trash can. Let's see if we can put them in the toilet. <laughs> ah!
I don't think anybody's gonna want those drugs now. We just pooped on them. We pooped. We pooped on. We pooped on the drugs, and then we and we flushed them down the toilet. I, I, I don't I don't think anybody's gonna want them now. What do you think? Even in you know nothing, do you? Eh? Okay, whatever. You underestimate the power. That's true. I do underestimate the power of drugs. Well, I flushed them down the toilet, too. So, you know, I guess if somebody finds them, then they can... And then they're also in a plastic bag, so there's not poop on them. So, you know, all right. You win. Later, nerd. Hey, who... To the follow. Oh, so he he's just he's just kind of roaming around serving people drinks. All right, cool. He's just roaming around serving the people drinks. That's what he's doing. He's like, he doesn't look like your typical, he looks like just a tough guy. You know? So he's the same, it's the same guy right here. It's the same dude right here. Like, that's him. It's him right there. How are you doing, Siri? Welcome to KGB, aka Conspiracy with Donald Sutherland, who just keeps me telling, who keeps telling me to go away. He doesn't like me. I think we need to figure out a way to get into that meat shop. Some way. We need to figure out some way to get into the meat shop, and I, I don't know how. There's just, there's just guys, tough guys. That's who they are. They're tough guys. I, I don't think we've, I don't think we've done something correctly. I think this is a game we, yeah, these guys, well, it's, this is office. <clears throat> I don't quite understand it. If we go through here, we find it's his office, and yes, it does look suspicious. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna beat me up. I'm gonna load... Okay, it's still closed. I, I think... I think we wanna... Okay. What time is it here? Oh, you're, that's not the right person.
It's still open. When does when does it close? I wonder. Maybe we can give them drugs downstairs. You know, some drugs? Got some drugs. Yeah, some drugs. We got some drugs. Do you want some drugs? No, you do not want drugs, apparently. Alright, good 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 call. Good call. Alright, this guy's not being very helpful either. Man, we have not made a lot of progress here. I mean, I feel we made a little bit, but I don't feel we made much. It's a little bit disappointing. Well, that was not what we wanted to do. We just lost again. Jeez, we're dying a lot. Let's go back to... Let's try back here. It's still... It's still 10.06. Ugh, man. Oh, yeah. Clipboard. Oh, my God. There, now I don't have your freaking clipboard. going on here this guy put money in the put two hundred dollars in the trash can and this guy right here is putting is is taking the two hundred dollars and putting cocaine in his place so I go in and get the cocaine and uh, I see okay so I don't want the two hundred dollars. What I want to do is I want to take the drugs, and I guess let's just let's just put them down the toilet so that guy doesn't get the drugs for whatever reason. Bye, drugs. It was nice knowing ya. And then this guy's gonna go in the toilet, and his drugs aren't gonna be there, and he's probably gonna be pissed. What do you think?
I need to go to the toilet. All right. Whoa, nice. I'm waiting for him to go in. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, it does. It's from 1992. It got it got released as KGB, and then it got re-released as Conspiracy as a CD-ROM game with Donald Sutherland and renamed Conspiracy featuring Donald Sutherland. I guess in 1992? I, 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 I couldn't find exact dates for, for it, but... I mean... KGB Conspiracy. It was originally released in 1992. It was also released on CD under the title Conspiracy. I think at the same time. Maybe at the same time? I don't know why it was renamed. To, to, to be put when it was put on the CD. They have to leave and come back. I don't know, I feel like this guy goes into the toilet at some point. Doesn't he? I just wanted to see what his reaction is. Because I think I kind of missed it. Oh, there we go. One of the tough twins goes to the toilet. Alright. Let's see what his reaction is when he comes back. What's it gonna be? Is he gonna be pissed? Gonna be pissed off. The FMV is kind of, I don't know what you call it, pixelated. He's still not out. Say wait? I'll wait. The tough man has a quiet word with the manager who shrugs his shoulders. The tough man frowns, looking both perplexed and angry. So he's not happy. Alright. Manager goes to the bathroom. He's in the bat. Oh no! There's a secret passage in the bathroom. What? Whoops! That's not where I wanted to go. What? What? Why can I even go in there? Usually they don't let me go. Something weird is happening here. Wait, I did not want to go there. I want to go this way. Alright, fine. I don't want to buy his copy of whatever he's selling.
Whoops. Crime in the capital of the Soviet Union? That's impossible! I don't want the clipboard. I don't want the clipboard. He'll be like, when did I leave my clipboard here? That's really weird. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to look up a hint. We've been, we've been stuck for a long time. So, let's see. Did that. I'm pretty sure we did that. You know, I, I'm not sure exactly what we've done and what we haven't done. That, that's part of the problem. Is I, I don't remember where the save games like got us. So I think we may need to uh, go back and just start doing stuff that we. So let's let's redo some of this stuff. So we could ask about the opposite sex, too. Beard or clean-shaven men? Bearded. I mean, very, very like, uh... We might as well get we might as well get the uh, get the you know ask the questions. That's a no, apparently. Ask about...
just ask about everything. We've already done this, but... You know... Oh, there we go. There's some people there. Some good info on people. That's good. My clipboard isn't sexy. Exactly, my clipboard is not sexy. He loves cats. asking about everybody. I don't know if we need to get this information, but I feel like we might. So we're getting it again. Alright, I think that's good enough. So we're gonna save again. Back here. And then I think we want to knock on door 5. Damn it, this isn't working. Okay, that didn't work. I think we need a load. I think we need to load this game. I didn't get the information I needed. I, I don't think I got the information I needed to to uh Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. The whole step theft thing. So we do need to get the information before we can, uh, before we can do it. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. There we go. Now he, he, we want him to tell us about. We've already done this. We've done all this, and we did it without any help. But apparently, this is stuff we had to do. But we might have to do it in time for something else. So, okay, that's all we need from him. I think we we needed that info so that we can go to the other apartment and harass him. So, we're gonna harass him now. We're gonna save again. Yeah, 
Dear God, you better come in. They're all godless gangsters. Okay. The meat shop. See, that's what we want. See, th that's what we need. We need we need to get into the meat shop. Always go for the little guy. Okay, we want to get rid of this clipboard. Put it on the floor and then go in. Let's save again. <clears throat> and go in. Here we go. We're going in. We're repeating everything we've done. So. Apparently $30 was the right amount of money, too. Okay. Okay, it's the other... It's the person who wants to sell me that stupid, uh... thing. He's needs to go to the bathroom. We are supposed to flush down the toilet, so we're we're we were on the right track. We were we were we were well on the right track. So that's good. Oh, this is pretty time based. Let's click wait. Wait, maybe we missed it. Oh, no, there we go. I don't know why we need to do this, but. This is part of what this is part of what they say to do. Okay. Cards. I know some people you're throwing who are throwing a great party. You want to come with? Bianca and me. 
I think this is what we wanted to do. Uh, we just never talked to those people. That was where we were missing. We, we just didn't talk to them. I swear I talked to them once and they were pointless, but apparently I was wrong. Yeah, yeah we're gonna go. You follow Smart Petka and Stupid Lonka, Lianka out of the club and down the street behind the building. Sorry about this, but you'll have to show us what's in your pocket, security. What is this? You seem to have done all the talking they intended they intend to do. Did we die? You could have had those punks easily. Unfortunately, one of them stabs you in the side. They make off with the contents of your pockets. What? Alright, well... That didn't work out well. I guess we gotta kick their asses. Huh? I guess we have to kick their asses. I guess that's what we have to do. Why do we have to do this? I don't understand why we have to do this. Like, why, why is this a thing we need to do? Whoops. Okay. Ah! We kicked his ass. Take that, nerd! Yeah. Oh, he's got a lockpick! Yes! That's what we need! All right, all right, that's what we need. I don't think he's dead. I think he's just, I think he's just, I think he's sleeping. We have to go to the toilet. All right. All right. Now we have a lock pick. I knew we needed something to pick that lock. I knew it! I knew it! But we have to get, apparently, an actual lock pick. Save. Alright. This is, this is good. Okay, knock. Use this on the, the lock pick, this thing. Okay, apparently we can't pick this lock. All right, maybe we need to pick the other lock? Pick this lock? Oh yeah, we're totally in a building. We gotta, we gotta, we, we gotta be, we gotta be quiet. Be quiet. Let's turn the light switch on. That seems like a good idea. Oh, it was actually not a bad idea. Dried flowers. Wait. 
What's this do? Oh! Oh! This goes into the meat shop. Is what this does. I think we need to use matches here to look at the the meat shop. I don't know why we have to be discreet because no, you know the lights aren't going to. There's no way to see the lights from the street. But okay, I guess I guess we'll be discreet. It's a red diode. The diode emits no light. Plastic coated wire runs discreetly from the switch box to the wall and continues where it disappears under the frame of a cold room door at door handle height. Ah. Uh... Damn it, we need more. These carcasses are human! The victims were clearly tortured and mutilated before dying. You throw up violently in disgust and horror. The butcher must be a psychopath. Yep. I throw up again. It's cold. Uh-oh. That's not good. There's somebody in the shop. That that's bad. What's he going to say? Your investigation has run into ground. No point crying over spilt vodka. <laughs> Start over. What? Seriously? That sucks. All right, let's go this way and it's lo oh, they locked me in. They locked me in. I think hitting that button was a bad idea. Just saying. I think that button was a bad idea. I don't think we want to hit that button. Yeah, I think that button, I think that button alerts uh, them that I'm here. Or alerted them that I was there, I'm guessing. But I don't know.
Alright. I don't think there's anything else in here, so let's let's get out of here. Oh, we can't go that way. We have to go this way. Alright. Alright, let's see what it, let's see what they say now. Oh I can't I can't click the button. Let's go let's see if we can talk to the guy now. Let's see if we can talk to that dude now and say, hey, we saw your shop and it was like you know I think I think you're I think you have some I think you have some answers to question. Or some questions to answer. Some answers to question. Okay, let's, let's uh a knock. No answer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? He's not answering. Well, poops. Who's this? Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, is it not that door? No, that's the, that's the guy. Why is he not answering? Oh no, did we screw up again? <sighs> God damn it, this game is so particular about how you do things. Man. Apparently, if you wait until this late, yeah, it's too late. So let's uh, let's let's load the game and go to here, I guess. This one I have the lockpick, so we'll just be fast about this and see if that helps. nothing in here so we just want to go here go here um what's he saying stop bothering why are you flashing if you <laughs> don't flash if you're if 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 it's really a problem then okay go go Go, 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 knock. No answer. Shoot! I think we needed to do a lot, I think we need to, I think we needed to do this a lot quicker. Damn. All right, well, we're gonna stop today. Um. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know where to like load. Like this is it. I don't know. The fact that we only have four save slots really is dicks. You know, it's not good. I mean, we could re. I guess you can. I guess the one thing you can do is you can restart the chapter. You can restart the chapter, so really, you, you if you can restart the chapter, then you, I don't think you can, I don't know about the matches, though. The thing is, we could have not gotten those matches from a previous chapter, and would we have been screwed? Would we have actually been softlocked if we didn't get those matches? I don't know. I really don't know. But that's a good place to stop. We need to add a half hour onto the timer. Um, which I'll do right now, but man, we have, uh, we have not made a huge amount of progress in this game.